just say you have to have primer. Uh, the only difference is the purple primer, the, the inspector or the person that's doing the, uh, the code enforcement officer will be able to look at it and see if there's purple on it, then he knows it's been primed. That's the only difference. It all works the same. Purple makes a bigger mess. That's the, that's the bad part about it. You can use these go around, especially when you're above grade. You want to really make sure that they're, they're prepped, ready to go, and clean, because it will, it will make a huge difference on your, on your parts when you glue them together. Now when you glue the parts together, you want to get both sides of the fitting. Inside and the outside. And the pipe that you're going on. And you want to make sure that you're giving it about a quarter turn in on each and every one of them. And we already know that we can go ahead and glue on the 45, and we'll give that just a quick turn. And we're going to give it about an 8 to 10 count uh, as we hold it. And that is just so we can hold it. That's, that's all that it does. Go ahead and glue this pipe on because we can move the other end. Because it's because a long sweep knife. Yeah, I like to use long sweep knives whenever I can. Just so they, just all, typically because they work better, they're a little bit longer. It helps to ensure everything. Uh, Runs, smooth, runs down smoothly, especially in some, some of the spots that are, are mandated that you have long sweep 90s. All right, we're going to go to the other end. Get my lad down here. Our, our circuit for our air. The air can get all the way around. Uh, you always want to have air on the back side of the. Uh, it's hot up there. You always want to have air on the back side of your of your project. 
So as you see, as you can see, let me swing you around just a hair, right like that. Use my tape measure to the point. All right, our water line, our drain line comes in across here. Has a 45 there, a long sweep 90 down here, and it comes up to this two-inch T fitting. Uh, then it continues up this way out through the roof. It then comes across here to this two-inch Y that is picking up our uh, laundry basket. We're continuing this way where we're coming off of a uh, two by inch and a half T to a long sweep uh, inch and a half here. This will be our uh, kitchen sink. We're continuing back this way and coming up and going up over overhead to our vent pipe that we just put in. So that makes it, this makes this complete circuit. This is a complete circle. Air can get anywhere behind our water. And that's all that the vent trap does is put air behind the water. Now, from what I uh, what I am understanding is uh, over there somewhere it's going to be the water heater, but we're not sure. I don't I don't know where the, where the layout is on that, so we can't really put that in because they don't really know where it's going to go. Uh, my main mission is to hurry up and get this ready and to be enclosed, as well as the bathroom end of it over there. Uh, I got two hose bibs, one on each side of the building. And uh, those are just a standard 10 inch frost, frost proof hose bib. We're coming back off of our 2 inch, comes down through here, uh, picks up the, the lab sink right here. This is where the, our laboratory will be, laboratory sink. Uh, these are our water lines that are coming in. We'll put a shut off valve on those simply because there's no other shut off in the house. The water system here is the gravity feed coming down the hill from a tank that's probably 75 uh, feet higher than we are right here. Uh, we don't know, I don't know what the pressure will be at this point. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be somewhere around 40 to 50 pounds. But we're going to come in there, shut off here. Get a back feed to there, go right to the water heater, and then come back out this way. Uh, everything continues down the drain here. We have a shower that's going to be over here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where that ends up. So that's got to, that's a question we still have to have answered. Toilet sits right here. This is the center line of the toilet. It goes into a to a three inch, it's a three by three by three Y. Uh, and that fitting, that fitting there is uh, dropping right down into a two inch or into a four inch uh, sewer main. So we brought that up there. We'll have our toilet will be sitting here. Here's our supply line that's just six inches off the center line uh, sticking out here. These are the water supplies for the lab sink. The, the lines for the shower are just laying here at this point. Uh, uh, we know that on this wall right here will be the shower control, but I don't even know what that is. I want to get this pipe to go out up through the other side, so that is also vented there. So everything, all, all in all, should be, should be just about ready to go. We've got to do a connection up there uh, on, on the vent line, simply because it's not connected to the top vent. And I don't know yet, and I may put a, put a vent into the uh, lab sink by going out and coming up. Uh, that's yet to be seen. I don't know if we'll do that. Um, 
So well, other than that, that's pretty much where we're going to wrap it up for right now. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, I'll show you the, uh, this is the, this is a hundred foot of, uh, of text tubing. So the, this hundred foot here uh, is a whole lot easier to carry around than two one hundred foot if they were both colored. One was blue, one was red. So a little bit of a little bit of ink from a permanent marker works just fine for that. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of odds and ends and uh, clean up, and uh, we're expecting to get a big storm today, so I'm going to try to get out of here before that happens. Uh, again, if you have any questions, any comments. Uh, leave it down in the uh, down in the description. There, there's a spot for comments. So leave leave me a comment, like, share. Uh, that helps me out. Uh, the more people we have looking at us, the better off we are. So uh, that'll do it for now. You guys have a great day.